Hi, this is Jason Gorman from Codemanship with the fourth in our series on solid design principles. The I in solid stands for interface segregation. Client uh, Classes should present client specific interfaces. Let's take a look at an example here. I have a book class that has three public methods um, and the get summary method here is being used by the library client class and the get rating method here is being used by the book stats class the impact of this is that when we make a change for example to get rating both book stats and library are affected so we get double the impact for the same change because they would both have to be recompiled retested and redeployed what we want to do is we want to segregate or partition the interface of book so that individual clients are only affected by changes to the methods that they use and the way that we do that is to extract methods from book that present only the methods that are being used extract class uh, interface sorry that uh, present only the public methods that are being used by each client so we're going to create a client interface for library for example if we do an extract interface here and we create a summarized book because it's going to have the get summary method on it we click OK I'm running JUnit Max in the background here so if any tests fail they'll be reported as errors so all the tests passing at the moment that's good now I've got a little bit of cleanup to do here because if we look inside the library class the refactoring has replaced in this method book with summarized book but it's left all the other references to book so we need to get rid of those so we can make library only dependent on summarized book so if I uh, that's not what I wanted to do at all so we're going to find and replace book with summarized book like so and if I save that JNIT Max reports that there are no tests failing and now our library is only dependent upon the summarized book interface we repeat the process for book stats so we're going to extract an interface that only has methods that are being used by book stats so let's call it a rated book because this relates to the get rating method now you could argue that get rating and rate are logically related and therefore should be on the same interface but from an interface segregation point of view rate is not actually being used by book stats so we don't need it we just need the get rating method on the interface okay and again there's going to be a little cleanup to do here a bit of cleanup so if we go to our book stats class um, it hasn't replaced any of the references to book so let's just do that now and we'll replace references to book with references to rated book okay and replace them all now that's going to break some of our test code now because some of our tests if I save that you'll see some of the tests were depending on um, this list of rated book being a list of book so we need to change that to a list of rated book and down here we save that and all the tests are passing so there we are we've extracted two interfaces from book one to be presented to book stats and one to be presented to library so that we can change one of these interfaces without affecting the other client class now just time for a little chat here um, you may have seen the first example I did for single responsibility where I had an account class that had a number of methods deposit withdraw get balance that relate to the logic of running an account and we had another method called 2xml that serialized the account to an XML string 
And what I did was I argued that these were two distinct responsibilities and I did an extract class refactoring to extract the 2XML method into its own class, an, an account XML serializer. Now that left us with a little bit of mess because by doing that both the 2XML method and deposit withdraw get balance we're referring to the same fields of account. So we end up with a situation where we had feature envy between account XML serializer and the original account class. Uh, we created a code smell by introducing the se second class. Now in this case with book you'll notice that the methods that have extracted for book stats for the interface for a rated book refer to one set of fields, these two fields here in fact, and you'll notice that the get summary refers to another set of fields. So they're actually quite distinct in their responsibilities even though they both relate to book. So there is an argument that I've done this the wrong way round, and I assure you quite deliberately so that we could have this little chat. There is an argument that actually what I should have done for this one is I should have extracted a second class. So we'd have a, a class with title, author, and year published and a get summary method. We would have a separate class with total rating and ratings count and we would have the, um, the get rating and rate methods on that. And I would conversely for the account class what I could have done in order to avoid creating feature envy between two classes would be to just extract um, a separate interface for serialization. Um, so that's something you need to think about. When is it appropriate to um, extract interfaces that are client specific and when is it appropriate to extract classes and break classes up into their individual responsibilities? Now there's no hard and fast rule to this but one way of looking at it is if methods are all cohesive in the sense that they all reference the same fields then they probably do belong in the same class. If there's less cohesion and you've got different methods or subsets of methods on an interface referencing subsets of the fields in a class, then there's an argument there for breaking that up into multiple classes. So something to think about there.